Okay, looks like it's working. Marvellous. So hello, hi everyone. Um, thanks for joining. Uh, I'm Andy Woffer. I'm the current chair of the Yachta project. Uh, and I thought I'd give you a brief overview of what's happened in 2022. Uh, first kind of full year out of the chaos and mayhem of the pandemic. Uh, so first things first, cover our membership, uh, without which um, we'll make things much more complicated. Uh, so we're very grateful. Uh, and our members uh, range from all sorts of various segments to different uh, geolocations, et cetera. Uh, you know, there, there's big companies, there's small, medium enterprises, uh, there's, you know, mom and pop shops, et cetera. And there's also good old open embedded, uh, uh, without which um, there would be no Yocto really. Uh, and in 2022, we had two new members, uh, BMW Group joined as Platinum, uh, and Axis Communications joined as Silver, uh, so very grateful uh, for them to join uh, and delighted to have them participating more actively in the project. If you would like your company to be a member, uh, please reach out to Randy Armour at the Linux Foundation. That's a contact details there, uh, or you can contact uh, any of the uh, uh, leadership working group at, at the Octa Project, so either myself, David, Nico, Richard, uh, Megan, um, Michael, we're, we're all more than happy to help uh, and uh, get you part of the uh, Yocto family. So talking project leadership, um, there are a number of people that help out uh, only one of them is actually, well, technically two are full time. Uh, so there's myself, the chair, uh, I work at ARM, our treasurer, uh, Stephanie Moskrip from Wind River. Um, both Stephanie and myself are elected uh, and an election is coming up, um, which we'll cover shortly. Uh, Richard Purdy is the project architect and he is uh, full time. Uh, uh, Nico Deschamps uh, is a uh, community uh, manager uh, working at Lenaro. Megan Knight from AWS heading up advocacy. Uh, David, who you've heard from already, um, heads up training and uh, some of the events like uh, the Yacht Project Summit. Uh, and Neil Caden from Linux Foundation is our uh, project manager uh, and helps to try and keep the wheels of the train on the track. Uh, and getting us pointed in the right direction. The technical steering committee um, is chaired by Richard Purdy. Um, Linux Foundation, we've got Ross Burton from ARM, Kem Raj uh, from Comcast. Uh, those three positions are elected to the TSC by the Yocto project. Uh, and then Open Embedded has two seats in the Yocto project and currently it's ARM Custer from Mentor. Uh, and Dennis uh, uh, Dmitrienko from Kozolka. Uh, and again, uh, those seats will be coming up. Uh, there's uh, three elections coming up uh, in the new year. In February, uh, all the silver members will get to elect who their voting representative is. Uh, currently, it's uh, Armin. And so, Following that in March, uh, my seat and Stephanie's seat, treasurer, are up for election. Uh, and then in May, the TSC is up for election. Uh, so if you would like to have a say in how uh, those elections go, please do ensure that uh, your company is a member and you let your company representative know how you feel uh, things should go. So features, uh, everyone loves features. Uh, so one of the major features that have happened in 22 uh, for the Octo project. Um, software build with material support uh, was a big uh, piece and it's something that's been highlighted by uh, various um, government agencies, whether it be the US White House, 
uh, the EU, etc. Many um, are focusing on uh, software building materials. So we've implemented SPDX 2.2 SBOM support. Um, OE Core um, now has Rust support. Uh, we've got a new LTS in Kirkstone that came out. Uh, and last but by far, no means least, uh, Richard Purdy actually managed to take two weeks vacation. Um, this has been a long time coming uh, and it's great to see. Um, but crucially, that shows that the Octo project has now managed to build in some form of maintainer resilience. Um, we didn't break anything too much, at least. Uh, and, you know, the lights stayed on without flickering and, and things continue to progress, uh, which is great news. Um, there's still more to be done, but this is definitely uh, a good first step. At the community, uh, without which none of this would happen. Um, so Yachton, the Yachta project and wider community, we are working with other projects, uh, SPDX, as I've mentioned, we've implemented the SBOM support, but we're also uh, working much closer with SPDX as a project. We are working with uh, the OpenSSF uh, and especially Alpha and Omega uh, to try and ensure that uh, the Yachta project is uh, more secure and is more sustainable. Um, we would like some help though uh, from yourselves. Uh, please head to uh, the users page on the wiki, that link is here, um, and help us know who's using Yocto, how people are using the Yocto project, uh, et cetera. We know some of it, but we definitely don't know it all. Uh, and, you know, we would love for you to, to help us amplify your message. Um, there's also the Octo Project Compatibility uh, Initiative. Uh, there's more testing on more layers. Um, you can check your layers by running uh, the Octo Check Layer uh, and get things in, in, a, in a better state for more people to benefit from. Um, we've also, you know, with 22 being the first year post pandemic, but there's been a significant amount of travel. Uh, we've been present at various events, uh, both in North America and Europe, uh, and we're planning more for uh, 2023. Uh, so do please join us, uh, help us make our presence at those events uh, much better and much stronger. And with that, I'd like to thank everyone and hope you have a wonderful uh, YP Summit.